We all know we should have basic demographic information stored in a CRM, but are you tracking everything that you should be? Welcome to this episode of Simple CRM. How to use what you know and who you know to grow your business with the president of Address2, Troy Hanna. Here are five fields that you need to make sure you're not ignoring. Everybody knows that you need to have basic information stored in a database, like names, phone numbers, email addresses, physical addresses, and so forth. There are five other additional fields that you should not be ignoring so that you're making the most out of your CRM and the power of the data that data management can provide. The first field you need to make sure to track is the lead source. Tracking your lead source will allow you to see how effective or ineffective your marketing or networking efforts are. For example, if you send a holiday postcard out and only get one phone call as a result, yet you get 20 phone calls from an annual holiday coupon you email out, you can easily see which method year yields higher results. And of course, it's better for your bottom line. Next, you should remember to keep track of the contact role. Contact roles are different than titles. Roles are the identity or the, uh, the, their function within the organization or sales cycle itself. Roles enable you to know who the decision makers are in a company, the influencers, gatekeepers, and so on. In addition to their roles, you should always keep their opportunity status updated. This is something that many people allow to get away from them sometimes. When we know exactly where a contact is in your sales pipeline, in other words, their opportunity status, then you know how to manage your time and energy when nurturing that lead. After all, you don't want to spend your time focusing on a lead that has been burned instead of one that is really hot and ready to buy from you. In tracking the opportunity, you also want to make sure that your CRM allows you to keep track of that contact dates. Nurturing relationships require that you continually keep in touch with those clients or prospects. Don't just guess when the last time you spoke or emailed to someone was. Be clear when you did it. Oh, and a side note, you also want to make sure that you have some sort of established protocol in your business as to how often you should be connecting with your customers or potential clients. Oh, the fifth and final field that I recommend you track, and one that's not to be ignored, is the SIC, which stands for Standard Industrial Code. You may also choose to use the NAISC codes, which is the North American Industry Classification System. These are three to five digit numbers that are assigned to a business according to what types or kind of businesses they are. Why would you want to track that, you ask? Tracking is a way to stay on top of your client database. You can run a report on what type of products clients in certain industry types are buying and measure the marketing effectiveness you have by industry type. Once you have that data, you can segment your list so that you're sending the right message to the right group of people. You can look these codes up at sickcode.com. These codes aren't really clearly written on business cards but they are just as valuable as the information that's in those codes. Take time to key in and maintain them, and you'll be able to know even more about your clients, making it much easier for you to help them in their business needs and help their business grow. For more information about things that you should be including in your CRM and fields that you should be filling out, take our free trial for a spin and see what the fields are that are in there. The more information you have on a client, the better you'll be able to help them out. Thank you for watching this episode of Simple CRM with Troy Hanna. For more great information, visit the Address2 website at address2.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.